Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have interesting news coming from the folks at Quicksell and also Epic Games. Mixer 2021 is here and of course it comes with two major updates and a couple of other sibling updates just in case you know you want to check it out. So for those who like to download this, you know you want to play with it, yes you can go over to the link in the description and grab it for free. Now Mixer is the direct alternative to what you can do with Substance but you know it just makes more sense at this point that you can actually get mixer for free now a lot of people would see this as a game changer and of course i do see it as a game changer so let's dive directly in and take a look at the new set of features that you'll be getting with this two major things that you'll be getting is the multi texture set and also udim support huge game changer and of course i do know a lot of you guys will be excited about this one so getting all the way down you'll now be able to work with multiple texture sets so just in case you know you want to cut your stuff into different different textures you can now split your texture set into several layers and you can work with these things and you can now even paint across it now there's also a very beautiful layer set stacking thing that happens right here so you can actually organize the mix into various layer sets so depending on what you like to do you can organize these things and uh, you can make the most out of it so right here within the preview you can notice that we have a target layer set which has to do with several parts of your texture sets that you're actually working on and scrolling all the way down you'd also notice that we can even go further by painting across multiple texture sets and exactly the same reason why a lot of people have left quicksell is the same reason that would bring a lot of people back into pixel and it just makes a lot of sense that we are getting these things at this point and we did talk about the fact that this was coming and it's pretty interesting to see that it is now here so something else which makes sense is whenever you're playing with the texture set it also looks pretty cool that once you have a selection that you would notice that that selection gets highlighted within the viewport now this informs you and actually gives you a good notion of what you're working on so that you actually stay focused when you're working on stuff and speaking about staying focused there is something that is pretty pretty nice so unlike you know the other 3d apps that you use for making your textures and painting right now you do have a tiny button that makes an active area stay in focus and without losing any form of a total context of what you're working on you can literally stay focused and uh, see what you're doing while the other ones just simply fades out within the viewport and speaking about things that fades out within the viewport there is also a mesh visibility function so with what we have going on here you would notice that we do have a couple of things within the ui of course we're going to do a full review about this one you know just in case you want to see what it looks like before you get into it but right now you would notice that we have a mesh visibility button that exists right here and this deals with several parts of your model you can see you can turn on the arms or turn it off and you can also do the same thing for the head you can do the same thing for the legs and also for the torso and for those who are thinking about working on a specific part of a model at a given time you can now have fun working with this and of course there are certain things that you can actually try with multiple texture sets so you can now export different texture map types for parts targeting different shaders of course you can also choose to reuse the textures of one part of an asset to other parts you can also swap out different maps depending on what you're working on and you can add and texture new parts to an already uv or a textured model so already we do know that a pixel mixer gives you that advantage of mixing things just like you would do with substance alchemist but it takes it a little bit further that after mixing all of these things in pixel mixer you can literally apply them onto your model so it simply means quicksell mixer is a full combination of what you have in alchemist and also substance painter so you know put those two together and you have a very lovely thing and that is exactly what you're getting with pixel mixer so at this point you can mix materials you can mix different stuff and you can apply them to your model and it also makes sense that right now you can choose to flatten the entire mix and flattening this entire mix simply means you're creating a map that you can now export and these maps you can export them to different 3d apps now we also did talk about the fact that smart materials are going to be coming with quicksell mixer 2021 we'll be getting about 100 smart materials and of course you would also notice an improved layer stacking interaction there is also an export to 3d library so in case you want to export your stuff to your 3d library if already you have the quicksell bridge yes you can you can now export your stuff from your quicksell over to the quicksell bridge and store that within the library and move this directly from there to your unreal engine and to me i think this is like one of the best workflows that you can get and if you already have engines or you already have you know various plugins that you can use to export stuff 
I think this is also going to make a lot of sense. So instead of having things and, you know, going back and forth, thinking about how to move things back and forth, this might just simply make sense that you can send this over to your Quixel bridge and you can send it over to Unreal Engine. At this point within this release, it's only specified that these can only move to Unreal Engine. And I kind of hope that other 3D app would be supported, especially those ones that do have plugin interaction or plugin integration with Quixel Bridge. So lots of cool things right here. For those who like to see a couple of samples, you want to see a deep dive. For those who would like to get this, you can go over to the link in the description that can bring you right over here. So it's going to bring you right here where you can grab it for free. You can grab it for free. You can play with it. You can do whatever you want to do. It is totally free. You can do a huge, huge set of things. And if you like to see some things that some of the people within the community are already using Quixel Mixer to do, you can also go over to the Instagram using the hashtag made with Quixel and you can get inspired by these things. So lots of stuff right here. And of course, for those who are looking for a full on alternative, all right, you're looking for a full on alternative to Substance Painter, probably not, uh, you know, not an alternative to what you can get with Mari, but an alternative to what you can get with Substance Painter then you should consider taking a look at Quixel Mixer. It is for free. Previously, a lot of people actually abandoned this because it never had the whole multi texture set and you know, it didn't have the whole Udim thing. But right now it does have it. You can grab it for free, you can play with it and you can start using it right now. So it just makes sense that, you know, this is right here and it's available. And of course, we've already talked about how you can get started with Quixel previously. Right now, we're downloading the new version. And once it's complete, we'll also go ahead and do a full on walkthrough so that you can get informed and also know how it works. And previously, we did cover some other free tools that you can use for making your own textures. And you might want to also check that one out. I'm going to put the end note or maybe put a card somewhere so that you guys will be able to find this. So this is more like it. I would like to know what you guys think about this one. Pixel Mixer 2021 is now here. It's available for anyone who would like to grab it and play with it. And tell me what your thoughts are about this in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And I'll see you guys again with a tutorial update. Free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.